Hello everyone, this is Mike Check 95 with another Mike Check Productions Mike Check Movie Review. And we are here to review the crazies. The reason why I'm acting like this is because I had about over half of the video recorded and then the camera just decided to poop out. So here we go again. Before we get into the review, if you enjoy this video or anything before or that's coming up in the future, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, join the madness. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the works. Discord link in the description box. Click on the link, join us so you can chat with us, share your thoughts, share some ideas for like some videos and projects. We are a variety channel. We're up to almost everything because there's some things I will not do. Moving on to the numbers for the crazies. Critics rate this film a 7.1 out of 10, while audiences rate this film a 5.6 out of 10. The budget of this film was $20 million, and they boxed off his back $55 million. So now it's time to move on to the pros, cons, and comments. Comments are always coming first. Um, the, the way this film had started, they showed events that were basically happening two days like later that were occurring. So it started off with a, like a fiery city, and then it went to two days prior. So this film definitely was setting the tone about how everything was going to transpire and how everything went to shit within two days. And to add to the tone and everything, this film pretty much cut all the bullshit and just started right where everything like basically went to hell. So there was no bullshit, no drama, no like uh, slacking off. Went straight into, oh shit, there's something going on. So the tone of this film was fucking great. This is a remake to the 1973 film of the same name. And the rest of the other comments that I have were kind of like trying to piece together about what was causing this infection, the virus, and like what started it and what was like, what were like some of the symptoms and what was causing it to spread from person to person. Basically from what I gathered, there was a, a, a military plane that was carrying a biological weapon called Trixie that had crash landed into the uh, small town's like water system got in the water system that people were drinking the water people started getting infected left and right and as water evaporates it's it gets into the air so the infection is now water and airborne so even if it is airborne in one small town I think if air travels fast enough it will get everywhere it basically turns them into trigger happy zombies without the munchy munchy chop chop and usually the first sign is a fever, that's how they were finding out people were having it by checking their feet, checking their temperature. They got a fever, they went straight to the quarantine section. And that went very well for them. Going to the pros. Definitely when it comes to like the tone of the film and the feelings of the film, the suspense was very strong throughout the film, but it also wasn't too much. It was able to keep a good suspense going on. It was also carrying on with like anxiety and like depression and sadness at the same time all of that emotion was put together very well in this film adding more to the emotion we have how like the townspeople were responding to how these events were transpiring over the, over the next two days i feel like they were that was very natural for them to respond like that as more stuff starts happening people start freaking out and like wanting to like escape or just trying to like piece together what's going on with all their like neighbors and like family and friends the mass hysteria that's going on is causing everyone to lose their mind trying to escape these infected crazy people killing them left and right this film also gave a natural small town environment feeling to it as well the practical effects and the makeup team of this film did a fantastic job making the infected look infected and sick most films that I've seen recently have either had a really bad um, makeup effects team or just horrible CGI this is actually a refresher for me to see an actual really good pros uh, uh, practical effects and prosthetics team for a film like this uh, the crazies um, the like I said earlier they were very calculated very destructive but they weren't like just completely insane these people were actually smart enough to boot cars so these infected crazy people weren't just mindless monsters. They were they were basically making cold calculated like uh, decisions, lining everything up perfectly and just hunting down people one by one. This next pro is a pro and a con, but I'll talk about the pro side first. It's kind of an interesting kill that I've never seen in a horror film. So the sheriff got his hand stabbed onto the ground by an infected person and as he's trying 
to escape from that and kill this per this person, he's able to rip the knife out of the floor with the knife still on his hand, and then puts the uh, the infected person in a chokehold, and the knife stabs her in the throat and pretty much kills her. Like I said, I've never seen a kill like that in any kind of horror movie, and it was very interesting to see something like that in a film for quite a while. And my last pro is that the twist you find out at the end where uh, the husband and the wife, the sheriff and the, and the pregnant woman, they're not infected, but it turns out that as they're walking to and reaching to the next city for like salvation and safety from everything that's been going on, they, the, you guys find out that they're actually carriers of the infection. So as they're going to the new city, it's going to start a whole new mass hysteria. Okay, now it's time to get into some cons of the crazies. There's honestly quite a bit. Some of it was basically like illogical, like practical sense on some things, but or, or decision making, but here we go. There was an ad lib at the very beginning where uh, one of the uh, craziest people was whistling and you could tell that his uh, lips weren't lined up with when he was whistling, so a little bit there that didn't really make any sense. It's kind of like a natural thing that the military to do this in films like this. The military not actually really helping with the situation, not actually trying to like explain to people what's going on, trying to help these townspeople. They were just trying to eradicate the problem. I talked about the knife kill on the pro side, but there is a huge con to it. So basically after the dude uh, puts the chick in the knife, stab, choke, he has an open wound on his neck and the blood from the crazy would start mixing with his the blood in his hand because the uh, infection is uh, waterborne airborne it gets into the bloodstream and it infects the person so it's mixing in with the blood in his hand he's pretty much going to be infected on that point on but at the same time i mean it's been two or three days he probably was sick from drinking the water prior hand but it's kind of like, you know, if he wasn't infected, he's infected there. There was definitely one point in the film where I thought the main characters were being incredibly stupid. So they were being chased by a military helicopter when they had a vehicle to get away from, and they pull into a car wash, and they're getting attacked in the car wash by crazies and everything. And as one of the, uh, the, the main characters in the group gets taken out and killed, they leave the car unattended, and it rolls down the road into the street, and they just kind of forget about it, and the car gets shot down by the military hel helicopter. These next two cons are kind of like tied together. There was a fight scene underneath this semi on a loading bay at the truck stop between the sheriff and one of the, uh, cra the infected, and he dumps oil all over the crazy and throws a lighter on him and catches him on fire. Now, diesel is very flammable upon contact, and it could basically caused a lot of carnage but the fact that he lit the dude on fire with gasoline underneath of a semi on a loading bay kind of was just like that semi wouldn't have lasted as long as it did on the screen with the amount of fire that it was basically feeling it like touch on, on the underbelly of the vehicle because I feel like it would eventually explode on the, on, from the amount of heat I just kind of felt like it was going to go kaboom and it didn't. But at the same time, how do semis also not explode when it gets hit by a heat wave from a fucking nuke and it rolls down the road? Because because basically these two main characters, the sheriff and the and the wife, they they died twice on screen within five minutes apart. So a lot of vehicular science there that didn't make any sense. And then. For some reason, it was a, only a main plot point when it, they find out that she has a fever. But I feel like it could have been a bigger playing point. But for the amount of chaos caused towards the wife, both mental and physical, would cause a lot of complications, some major complications to the baby that she's having. So small chances are that kid's probably not going to survive. And for the fact that uh, she's infected and is a carrier, so her and the baby are infected as well. Moving on to my number of the film, my final rating. This film was actually very, very good. I actually remember it seeing the last like 15, 20 minutes of it as, on TV one time. And this is also a film that I had pushed for for October Horror Fest for several years. Finally being able to sit down and finally watch this movie, I actually really enjoyed it. It was written very well, all the emotions were tied together very well. 
kind of take out the small little vehicular science and some of the other stuff that just kind of made me tilt my head and go, what? And it's still a pretty good movie. I am actually happy I finally got to watch it. Kind of sad that it took me this long to go see it, but I, it's just... I've had it in a, a, a four-pack horror set for like probably about since 2014 and I just never sat down and watched it and I finally took the time to watch it so I'm glad I did my final rating for this film I would say because of the science with the uh, the semi and I was a little I, I liked the science behind how the infection went but it was also a little confusing because it was hard to hear at some points because of the accents that these characters are having I would say this film is like a 7.2 out of 10 Granted, I have not seen the original film from 1973, but for just for that versus how this film was written and put together, it's a pretty enjoyable film. Not like a great 9, 10 out of 10 film, but I would definitely recommend it. I, I would say it's a good uh, horror movie to watch around Halloween every year. So 7.2 for the crazies. But now the next time you shall see us, we'll have a bunch of more reviews coming down the road because I have a whole bunch of movies to review in my DVD collection. So there's going to be a lot of that. There's going to be some October Horror Fest coming down the road. There's also going to be some surprise videos being plopped in here and there, so keep an eye on that. But until then, this is Mike Check 95 the Mike Check Productions. Mike Check Movie Review, signing out.